Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 60 years on television. Now sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hello, I'm Mary Lou Metzger. Welcome to The Lawrence Welk Show. The program you're about to see is a classic black and white production from 1964. On this show, we'll see the beautiful champagne lady Norma Zimmer singing Paris in the Spring, Jimmy Roberts singing Where is Your Heart, and a great French lesson for Janet Lennon by Aladdin. At the end of our program, I have a very special visit with Welk star Janet Lennon, who provides us with some fascinating stories about the Lennon sisters and their musical family. So stay with us. And now, here's the maestro himself, Lawrence Welk. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very kindly. A pleasant good evening, friends. Welcome to our special French show. How do you like that, huh? To set the mood, we open the program with a well-known French tune, Valentina. Gentlemen. French boys and girls, and my congratulations to our director, Chuck Kuhn, for uh, that beautiful set. I guess school children are the same the world over. They enjoy recess. We find the lovely Leonard sisters having fun as they sing Dominique. Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement, routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il n'y a pas que du bon Dieu, il n'y a pas que du bon Dieu. À l'époque, Jean s'enterre d'Angleterre et Itéroin, Dominique et notre père et comme bâtit les albichois. Dominique, nique, nique, et s'en allait tout simplement, routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il n'y a pas que du bon Dieu, il n'y a pas que du bon Dieu. Certains jours on hérétique, pas des rachoules le conduit, mais notre Pérou Dominique pas le joie le convertit. Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement, routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Ni chameau, ni diligence, il parle qu'au euro papier, Scandinavie ou Provence, de la sainte du pauvreté. Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement, routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement, routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Il ne parle que 
Neil LeMang and Buddy Merrill form a strolling trio for another well-known French tune. known as the style center of the world, let's have a look at some of the spring creations with Norma Simmer. Paris in the spring, love is in the air, life's a love of and every pair of arms a rendezvous for two Paris in the spring Hearts begin to dance And in every glance You'll find an invitation to Simply can't evade love. The moon is there to aid love. Find someone you can call your own. You're to blame if you're alone. It's grand. Beating heart becomes a part of Paris in the spring. You must fall. You simply can't evade love. The moon is there to aid love. Find someone you can call. You're to blame if you're alone. It's grand, it's new. It's me, it's you. Every beating heart becomes a part of Paris.
wonderful. Oh, it's wonderful to be in love with you. Beautiful. You're so beautiful. You haunt me all day through. Every little breeze seems to whisper Louise. Birds in the trees seem to twitter Louise. Each little rose tells me it knows I love you. Love you. Every little beat that I feel in my heart seems to repeat what I felt at the start. Each little sign tells me that I adore you, Louise. Just to see and hear you brings joy I never knew. But to be so near you <laughs> thrills me through and through. Anyone can see why I wanted your kiss. It had to be, but the wonder is this. Can it be true? Someone like you could love me, Louise. Every little breeze seemed to whisper, Louise. Birds in the trees seemed to twitter, Louise. Each little rose tells me it knows I love you, love you. Every little beat that I feel in my heart seems to repeat what I felt at the start. Each little sigh tells me that I adore you, oh, Louise. Often when I am gloomy and I'm alone in my lonely room, Those thoughts of you come to me Just like a sweet perfume Now anyone can see why I wanted your kiss It had to be, but the wonder is this Can it be true, someone like you Could love me, Louise? <laughs> Latin for a fine impression of a wonderful entertainer. Now let's watch our young dance couple, Barbara and Bobby. <laughs>
number. We feature Myron Florin and the boys with the Poor People of Paris. One. the beautiful theme song from Moulin Rouge, Where Is Your Heart? Whenever we kiss, I worry and wonder, your lips may be near. But where is your heart? It's always like this I worry and wonder You're close to me here But where is your heart? It's a sad thing to realize That you've a heart that never melts when we kiss, do you close your eyes Pretending that I'm someone else You must break the spell This cloud that I'm under So please won't you tell Darling, where is your heart? It's a sad thing to realize that you've a heart that never melts When we kiss, do you close your eyes Pretending that I'm someone else You must break the spell This cloud that I'm under So please won't you tell Darling, where
enjoying this special French show. Be sure to stay tuned for a lesson in French by Aladdin and Janet Lennon. And speaking of Janet, be sure to stay with us at the end of our program for a fascinating visit with this very talented lady. And now back to the show. Charming and lovely Peggy Lennon has a cute number for you this evening. Let's watch Peggy and her little pet. Darling, je vous aime beaucoup Je ne sais pas what to do You know you've completely stolen my heart Morning, noon and night time too Toujours Wondering what you do That's the way I felt Right from the start Ah, oh, chérie My love for you is très, très fort Wish my French were good enough I tell you so much more But I hope that you can All the things you mean to me Darling, je vous aime beaucoup I And by the way, folks, that cute poodle Shante belongs to our secretary, Lois Lamond. Jerry Berg has been on the sick list the past few weeks, and we're mighty happy to have him back with us. He tells me he's feeling fine, so let's put him to work along with Myron Florin and the boys, the Petite Waltz. Well, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
Shante, shante, sing a little better song. Shante, shante, everybody sing along. Let's all sing when any little thing goes wrong. Toodle-doodle-lay, toodle-doodle-doo, sing with me, merci beaucoup. Toodle-doodle-doo, toodle-doodle-lay, everyone shante. Were you on the wrong side of the bed when you arose? Did a leaky fountain pen redecorate your clothes? Did you have a snack at night which didn't quite agree? Then let's do what they do, the people of Berry. Chante, chante, sing a little Berry song. Chante, chante, everybody sing along. Let's all sing when any little thing goes wrong. Did you lose a kiss because your love here had a cold? Did you go to buy a bargain after it was sold? Did you buy a ticket when you could have entered free? Then let's do what they do, the people of Paris. Chante, chante, everybody sing along. Let's all sing when any little thing goes wrong. Toodle-doodle, toodle-doodle, sing with me, merci beaucoup. Toodle-doodle, toodle-doodle, everyone chante. Toodle-doodle, toodle-doodle, sing with me, merci beaucoup. Toodle-doodle, toodle-doodle, everyone chante. No, no, the other way around. Turn around. Here's a very French pretty tune, La Vie en Rose featuring Don Bonnet and the band. Our dancing guests are exchange students from France attending UCLA and Caltech, with their dates also from France. In case some of you folks may be planning a trip to Paris, you might like to get in on a free French lesson, courtesy of Aladdin and Janet Lennon. Les livres, 
Plumy, la chase. No, 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 mon petit. Ce n'est pas correct. That is not correct way. Listen, I will show you, hein? The book, le livre. Le livre, the book. The pen, la plume. La plume, the pen. La chaise. Le chaise. Le crayon. Le crayon. Le cahier. Le cahier. Le papier. Le papier. Noir, rouge et blanc. A black, red and white. Rouge, blanc et noir. Ah, you're very bright. Now, let's go back, hein? You have to get them right. Rouge, blanc et noir, la papier, le cahier, le crayon, la chaise, la plume, la livre, la livre et rouge. La chaise et noir. That's wonderful. You call this work? Why, it's more like play. In no time, Vlad, you parle français. Have you had enough? No, I'm just starting. Uh, all right, you ask for it. The door, la porte. La porte, the door. Of wood, du bois. Du bois, of wood. To open, ouvrir. Ouvrir, to open. To shut, fermer. Fermé, to shut. The pronouns that you need are je and vous. Je means I, and vous means you. Now, do them all. Just watch me go right through. Je and vous to shut, fermé, to open, ouvrir, la porte, to boire, rouge, blanc, et noir, la papier, le cahier, le crayon, la chaise, la plume, la livre. J'ouvre la porte, je ferme la porte. C'est merveilleux. <laughs> My thirst for learning, you can't quench. Come fill me up to here with French. More? More. Oh, you'll explode. Well, who cares? The hand, la main. La main, the hand. The mouth, la bouche. La bouche, the mouth. Les yeux sont bleus. Ah, they really are blue. Uh, the hair, le cheveu. The hair, le cheveu. The words for boy and girl, garçon et fille. Garçon et fille are he and she. Now, from the top, if you want a French degree. Garçon et fille, le cheveu, the hair, le les yeux sont bleus, bleu, la bouche, la main. Je et vous, vous tu chat, permet, tu open, ouvre, 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 la porte, tu bois, rouge, blanc et noir, la papier, le cahier, le crayon, la chaise, la plume, la livre. Mademoiselle. Monsieur. Les yeux sont bleus. Oh, you're crazy. Won't you come and join me in a dance? You could be a resident of France. show with a very uh, pretty song called Mamsell. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Bob Leader and Frank Scott give us a different treatment of a French favorite with some help from Aladdin. Speak to me of love and say what I'm longing to hear. Tender words of love, repeat them again, I implore you. Speak to me of love and whisper these words to me, dear. I adore you. Pardonnez-moi, Robert. English translation, pardon me, Robert. Why? French translation, pourquoi? Chantez en français. English translation, sing it in, in French. Of course, my friend. French translation, mais oui, mon ami. I fooled you, huh? Ha ha! Ah, parlez-moi d'amour. Redites-moi des choses ou tendre. Votre bout discours, mon cœur n'est pas là de la tendre. Pour vous, go toujours. Vous répétez ma suprema. Je vous aime. Je vous aime. Je vous aime. Say to English translation. That's all. This is my number. It's my solo. Thank you. Paris seems to bring out the romance in everyone. Even Larry Hooper falls under the spell of the French atmosphere. Just a gigolo Everywhere I go People know the part I'm playing Paid for every dance Selling each romance Every night some heart betraying There will come a day Youth will pass away then what will they say about me? When the end comes, I know they'll say just a gigolo And life goes on without me Just a gigolo Everywhere I go People know the part I'm playing Paid for every dance Selling each romance Every night some heart betraying There will come a day Youth will pass away Then what will they say about me? When the end comes I know They'll say just a gigolo as life goes on without me When the end comes I know They'll say just a gigolo As life goes on without me hear what the fellows have done with another well-known French favorite, Dixieland Boys Swing Out.
Thank you so much for joining us on our little trip to France. The entire country fell in love with my special guest when she and her sisters made their debut on The Lawrence Welk Show back on Christmas Eve in 1955. Please welcome Janet Lennon. Hi. Hi, Janet. How are oh, you? So good. So glad to have you here. Thank you. I think good this could be possibly be my very favorite Lawrence Welk show. It must bring back memories for you. Oh, it's just the best. It's one of my favorite shows, too. You know, the obvious thing is that the set was so amazing. Our art director, Chuck Kuhn, could just do the most beautiful sets. But this particular one encompassed the entire orchestra and the production area. And everyone was in costume, including everyone in the band. I'm sure that Rosie Weiss, our costume lady, <laughs> went all over LA or the world looking for berets for everyone. <laughs> but they looked so good. And it it seemed to me every time we did one of these wonderful shows, just, just the atmosphere around the theater was just so much fun. And people, some of the guys in the band and Charlotte from the band would get to dress up in costumes and be a character in one of the scenes. And just the whole atmosphere was so much fun. We had so much fun. And Peggy and that poodle. Well, Pe you know, Peg loved singing that song to the poodle, but as I recall in rehearsals, uh, the poodle wasn't potty trained, if you will, and, <laughs> and had an accident on Peggy's clothing, and she wasn't all that happy about that. <laughs> A memorable experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I loved the French lesson that you did with Aladdin, and you and he always had such great chemistry together. Just loved Laddie. You know, before we joined the Lawrence Welk Show, our grandpa had died, and he was an old song and dance man, and we just loved him. And Laddie seemed to just fill that space in our hearts. And when we first met him, you know, he's such a big, wonderful, bigger-than-life guy, and he told us that he spoke 12 languages, which, which I think that he did, and that his real name was Aladdin Abdullah Ahmed Anthony Palante, and that he was from New York City. <laughs> and like later, Bob Lito took us aside and he said, you know, he's Tony Pilate from Plainfield, New Jersey. <laughs> But he was just this wonderful ham actor that loved every bit of performing. And there was just a connection between uh, all of us, really, with Laddie. And he and his wife never had children. And they would be over to our house. And they just absolutely loved us and we, we him. He was wonderful to work with. You also got to dance a lot on the show through the years. Did you ever want to be a dancer or study dance? I always loved dancing. I studied dancing for about several weeks when I was about <laughs> six years old, and we were little and we weren't performing yet, so we couldn't afford the dance lessons anymore, but I always loved dancing. My mother was actually a dance teacher when she was 16. That's what she did her summers to make money. So she taught us little things around the house, and I always loved dancing. And then when Cubby O'Brien and Jack Immel and Bobby Burgess and a guy named Bo Wagner on our and Art Duncan, of course, on our show, they all tap dance, they would give me lessons all the time so I, I really got lessons from the best and I still would love to be in the back chorus on Broadway somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you could. Believe me, you could. Thanks. I remember when I came on the show and we started traveling, I would hear stories about how the Lennon sisters were afraid to fly. What was that about? Well, we weren't in the beginning. It was sort of an adventure when we would go on the road with the band. We'd get in the plane, and it was great. And, you know, people did look like ants. And, I mean, it was really fun. But we flew so much. We were on the road so much that we were, you know, it was obvious we were going to have some bad plane rides. And some of those chartered planes that we had, you know, back in the 1950s were pretty rickety. And I can remember one time landing somewhere and the, the airplane window just kind of <laughs> fell into my lap. And we were very lucky to be on the ground at the time. But so it sort of, I don't know, we just sort of don't really like flying. We do it because you there have was to. A, I think a special story about a big storm where you were late for a concert. Oh, we, we flew into Dallas one day. We were getting there just in the evening, just before our concert at the big arena there. It was the whole Lawrence Welk Orchestra and show. And there was a tornado hit the Dallas airport. And the uh, crew from the flight tower had evacuated. And so our pilot had no connection with anyone, and it was so black, he didn't know if we were right side up or up, or what side up we were, because it was so, so dark outside and so bumpy. He said he prayed, and he pulled up, and luckily he, we went up, and we ended up going to Little Rock, 
and getting on a plane several hours later, coming back, and there were thousands of people in their arena waiting for us. Still and I think waiting. we didn't start our show till you know 9:30 or 10 that night, but they all stayed, and we did it in our street clothes because our costumes, you know, hadn't been ironed or anything. <laughs> So that was that was really something. We had some good experiences with quite those a testament people. to yeah. the Lawrence Welk audience as well. Yes, that was great. We had fun. That was really fun. Now, you told me that you and Kathy used to take your dolls along on the trip so we that did. you have a little bit of home with you. Kathy and I had some favorite dolls that our mom and our grandmother had made for us when I was three and Kathy was six. They were little rag dolls about this big. Mine was blonde and Kathy's was brunette uh, with embroidered faces and yarn hair. And we just loved these dolls so much. They meant so much to our childhood. And we had a little trunk that we each, we each had a little trunk that we kept our doll in and we took them on every road trip with us us. And at night, we would put them in their little white nighties, and they'd sleep with us in the hotel rooms. It was just like taking a little bit of, of home with us. Well, so, so in later years, she and I had always dreamed of doing something together when we grew up. And um, we just decided that those dolls meant so much to us growing up and uh, appealed so much to our nurturing side mm -hmm. that we wanted to try to reproduce them for children, for little girls right now. We felt like maybe there was a little hole in the toy industry right now for a nurturing doll, a doll where it doesn't talk and it doesn't wear makeup and it doesn't wear flashy clothes. It's just something that a child can love. And so we decided to re reproduce those little dolls. And uh, we have, Kathy and I growing up called each other best pals. And so we've called our whole product line best pals and we reproduce these darling dolls uh, exactly right down to the vintage fabric and uh, as we go on and it gets more and more popular we have recorded CDs of our favorite childhood songs and have a new line of multicultural dolls coming out and so it's really catching on and, and I understand uh, you're going to do storybooks as well we are we're doing storybooks and we it's we're really lucky we have such talent in our family my husband John who was in music his whole life and a lot of people have seen him conducting the Lawrence Welk Orchestra, um, is now a photographer, which was always one of his wonderful um, hobbies. And so he has a photography studio. He does all of our publicity photos and all of our product shots. Uh, my daughter-in-law, Amy, who works for him, does our graphic arts and photo touch-ups. Peggy's daughter, Betsy Cathcart, runs our office. Um, our son, Bill, runs our warehouse. And another son does all of our video editing. And my daughter, Kristen, works for our local television station. And her crews will come and videotape us. So it's all in-house. And um, we're just absolutely loving it. It's a very, very special sensitive project for us and uh, so far it's going really really and well. And it really is a family affair. Yeah it really really is and my granddaughters um, are the models and they do our product shots with the dolls and they just love it and they go on stage with us and sing and have sung on our CDs. I remember and, that. And uh, every year on stage they they come and sing in, in our Christmas show with us. So, uh, so it, how it is, is it being a grandma? Well, I absolutely love it, and as we speak, we're expecting number seven, so uh, we just love it. And, and when we moved to Branson, I never expected our five children to move back here because they were L.A. kids, and slowly each of them and their families moved here. And so all of my our children and all of our grandchildren live in Branson with us, and it's wonderful. We have Sunday night dinners every Sunday night, and... Uh, it's 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 the joy of my life. It really is. It's it's this, the love that you have for your children, and yet you have not the responsibility of having to raise them. You can just love them and play with them, and it's just terrific. We love so it. So it's easier being a grandma. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and you were working when you were being a mom. I was, and uh, we tried to curtail um, our working activities when we did have small children. We ended up doing a lot of work in Las Vegas where we could only do concentrated work for three or four weeks and then have several months off. And that was great because our children all grew up together. All these 14 little cousins would be at Caesar's Palace together with us. <laughs> and they learned to roller skate in the halls of Caesar's Palace. And they learned to swim in the swimming pool from their Aunt Kathy at Caesar's Palace. So that, it's it's been a wonderful 
family experience. We've all, they've all been involved at all times. And so it's, it's been a wonderful time for us. Well, I think we've all grown up together. And it's yes. been a wonderful time and wonderful oh, memories. Thank you, Mary Lou. It thanks has been so for me much too. for being here. Okay, thanks. And thank you for making every performance a special one. Until next time, as Lawrence always said, keep a song in your heart. Join the conversation.